Hi guys, it's uh, Inam Gafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can watch Freeview TV on your ice cream powered Galaxy S3 and whether it be while you're connected to a Wi-Fi hotspot, whether that's at home or out and about, or even over your data roaming connection. Um, but that does need to be a good connection, otherwise you, it, the performance deteriorates quite heavily. Uh, but it does work over data roaming, which I've tested. Uh, first of all, uh, before we go any further, I'd just like to let you know that this application is in public beta testing, so you won't be able to download it from the Play Store. Um, what we need to do, I'll show you how you can download this. But first of all, before we get started, go to Menu, go to Settings, and then go down to Security. Scroll down, and there's a section there which says Unknown Sources, Allow Installation of Non-Market Applications. Uh, tap that hit OK to the warning. Basically what this does is it allows you to install applications which are, don't come from the Play Store. Basically if you take the tick out, that basically means you can only install applications on your handset from the Play Store. But if the tick's in, that means you can install applications from an SD card, from any web page, any source whatsoever. It doesn't necessarily have to come from the Play Store. So just make sure there's a tick in there because, as I say, this application is in public beta testing, so you're not going to find it on the Play Store. So what you need to do is go to the internet, type into Google TV Catch Up Android. Now, if I, if I bring the camera nearby, once that focuses in, you should be able to see the URL that it has there. It's tvcatchup.com forward slash android.html. Now you can either type that into the web address yourself or like I did, go to Google and just type in TV Catch Up Android and it's the first link there. So select it. Would help if I tapped it. There you go. Once that loads, it's a black website, so zoom in. TV Catch Up in the top left logo. This page is just a warning, just advising you that it's in public beta testing for Android phones and you should see if you zoom in there two green links one for forums which you can post any problems that you have on just so that it helps develop the application because as I say it is in beta testing uh, hit download now and you should get a box there which says starting download at the bottom once that appears come out of your browser come out and then drop down the notification bar and you can see that it says download complete TV CB 32-3.apk so hit that to install it and there you go it brings up the screen saying do you want to install this application um, and that gives that application access to the following uh, bullet points we know what we're doing so I'm just going to hit install there it doesn't take too long at all to install that's already installed you can open it but I'm not going to open it straight away I'm just going to click done and it should put it in my app drawer Here it is so hit on it obviously I'm connected via Wi-Fi because I'm at home at the moment once that loads it normally displays an ad of some sort like it does there just click the X look for the X for whatever the ad is and press it to bypass it and it comes up with a, a window there saying device logging successful now I haven't actually created any sort of logins for this at all it's just what naturally is being displayed on the screen here and it says there, congratulations, your ISP Virgin Media is compatible with TV catch-up. Um, yada, 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 I agree. And then it takes your list of TV channels, which are all free view channels here in the UK. Now you can see I've got BBC One, Two, ITV One, Four, Channel Five, uh, ITV Two. Um, so pretty much everything there. We've got BBC Three. We'll go into BBC Three actually. We'll turn that around and see how that looks and turn the volume up if, uh, this is showing Radio One's big weekend from the weekend just gone there in Hackney in London turn that off again. and there's Rita Ora playing there you can see no lag no lag and it's pretty good quality for a phone I'll just turn the volume down there I'll leave that be for a little bit. Pretty good quality for a phone. So go back, see what else we've got there. 
Uh, that was BBC Three. Uh, let's have a look. Some of the channels: Big Bang Theory, E4. Let's try that. There you go. You've got the Big Bang Theory playing there. Uh, you've got the E4 plus one logo in the corner. Now I've noticed when when you do use this application, it's not in real time. It's normally about a five to ten second gap from when it's displayed uh, on the TV. So if you've got it next to the telly, it's uh, between five or ten second delay from what you see on the TV, then it comes through via the app, which you'd naturally expect anyway because it's a phone, you can't have it in real time all the time. Um, and as I say, this is in public beta testing, so look at the quality on that, We're watching Big Bang Theory, so we'll come at that as well and see what else we've got. And here we go. Everyone likes a fresh Prince of Bel Air. Viva. See if that loads up and how will that load. 